Hey guys, this is Nick with Sideways in Paradise. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a rundown about what the channel is going to be. So this channel is dedicated to uh, everything car related in the Florida Keys. Um, water sports in the Florida Keys if I ever get to an event, something like that. Um, scuba diving, um, free diving, snorkeling, uh, anything under the sun related to the Florida Keys. But mostly from a car enthusiast perspective like mine. So. It's mainly going to follow the build of my Miata, which you guys are sitting in right now, or I'm sitting in technically. And uh, I have a 91 Miata with a 1.6 liter engine in it. It's got 134,000 miles on it, something like that. And uh, I plan on doing some things to it, and I would really like to see this thing make a little bit more power um, and do a couple other minor adjustments to it. Um, but otherwise, uh, I love this car, and I autocross it down here. And it's, it's an awesome, awesome autocross car. If you ever think of getting into autocross, um, definitely go with a Miata or whatever your preference is really. But I, I chose a Miata just because it is nimble, very lightweight, uh, has decent enough power to get you up and down the straightaways. I mean, it's a little weak in some points, um, but it's, it's an all around great, well-balanced, uh, autocross car. So I really recommend a Miata if you're going to get into autocross, um, uh, mine is mostly stock. Um, I'll show you guys a video in a couple of minutes of exactly what I have done to the car. Um, nothing major, but so that's pretty much what the channel is going to be about. And I want to see this thing take off. I hope to be doing um, weekly videos or bi-weekly videos. Um, it all really depends on my work schedule and uh, my girlfriend's work schedule and school schedule and everything like that. And I just want to make sure that. I get quality videos put up on YouTube because I feel like the stuff that happens down here in the Florida Keys should be documented and as far as I know not many people do that so I would like to share that essentially with the people of YouTube so um, for starters uh, my next video that I will be putting up is my first autocross event uh, racing down here uh, it was on the 20th of November 2016 um, it was called the Snoopy and Woodstock recurring thing and I was originally going to put that up as my first video on YouTube, but I ended up not going for that just because I wanted to introduce what the channel was going to be about before I put actual content on, on, the, on the channel. So, um, autocross event went great, and I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you like this video, I don't know why you would really enjoy this video as it's just a, a brief overview of what this channel is going to be. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you will, please. Um, and uh, please let me know uh, what kind of videos you guys want to see. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes down here in the Florida Keys, and I will try my best to do everything you guys wish. So if you have any questions at all, uh, any video requests, let me know, and uh, I'll gladly get to that. All right, moment of truth. This is my 1991 Mazda Miata, and uh, as you can tell, it has seen some abuse, and it is not the original color. That, my friends, is a mix of primer, rattle can, um, and black spray paint, and it does not look the best, and it is not in the greatest shape, and it is not attractive at all, period. I picked this thing up in June. Uh, I originally had a 1999 Volkswagen Passat, which had a... a 12 pounds of boost, running a manual boost controller, a couple other things done to it, but nothing really too special. And uh, I traded it for this Miata, mainly because I really wanted to get into the Miatas, and I knew that I wasn't going to be able to sell my previous car, because nobody really want to pay money for it. It wasn't that great, so I just decided to offer it up for trade. So, this is what I got. Uh, as you can see, I've got some... Uh, um, XXR, I think they're actually reps of XXRs, so reps of reps, and uh, they're not the most attractive wheels in the world, but I just, I did recently refinish them. Uh, they were originally white, and the paint was flaking off, peeling off, and it didn't look good, so I just did a, uh, like a gold uh, black base coat, and then uh, gold around the lips, and I left the overspray on the center of the wheel, and it actually kind of looks good, and I covered it up with some uh, some clear coat and it got a little bit deeper, a little bit darker than it was originally. Um, but I really like the way that it came out. 
Uh, I also have drilled and slotted rotors in there. I'm not sure what brand, whatever the previous owner put in pretty much. Um, but I haven't, I have no complaints. Uh, it's also lower than the stock ride height. I have some coilovers in there. I'm not sure if they are Megans or if they are um, a different brand. I'm honestly not sure. All I know is that they are purple and black. They, they ride all right. They're not too bad. Uh, as you can see, it's got some rust and some repairs done to the quarter panels and the, uh, the wheel arches here. There is quite a bit of rust on this car, unfortunately, and it really plagues these Miatas and it makes me sad to see it. Um, as you can see, my rockers aren't looking too great either. They have uh, some bubbling and some rust going on underneath, and I believe this car was repaired with Bondo at one point, but not very well. So, unfortunately, that's that. Uh, for tires, I have Dunlop Dereza DZ102s, which I actually really enjoy. Uh, I think they're really great tires for the price. Uh, they handle great, um, and they're pretty good in the rain. And so far, I haven't had any complaints other than uh, just the life of them. They're fairly soft tires for the, uh, for the class, and uh, they do wear down fairly quickly. Uh, I actually got these tires probably about a month ago. And uh, I do some spirited driving. I actually did an autocross event with these, and they've gone down a little bit uh, more than I would like them to, so I'll probably end up getting some all-seasons just for a daily. It does have a exhaust on it, though. My boss is the owner of a shop down here, and he can bend and weld exhaust, and that's really his pride and joy, is doing exhaust systems. And uh, he built me a custom from the header, to header back 2.5-inch exhaust um, to a Dynamax muffler, and a little Gibson tip that he had lying around in the shop. He, uh, he was very generous, did that for me for free. Usually his exhaust systems run, uh, depending on the setup, between four and a thousand dollars, depending on what you got and what you need done. It came out pretty great. It sounds pretty great, as you can hear from my intro video that I did. Um, I, I enjoy it quite a lot. Um, you can also see here that this rocker is really bad. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do to fix this just yet. Uh, all in all, once I get to building the motor, which is hopefully a project coming up here soon, I will be uh, getting a different shell, getting a different body for this car. Uh, picking up a shell somewhere up in uh, North Florida or Central Florida, something like that, see if I can find something without any rust on it, and I'll be swapping my motor into it, just because I really do not like all the rust that's on this car. Um, it does have cheap eBay side skirts on it which is okay, they work all right. They just make the car a little bit, you know, more complete looking. But I did break one at my last autocross event, unfortunately. Uh, that was from a cone, which I apparently really like cones. Uh, and I, I don't know why. Uh, I personally did a cheap uh, Home Depot lip, which is basically just garage, uh, garage door weather sealing. And uh, it just gave the car a little bit different look. Um, made it look a little more complete with it being lowered and all. So I just did that just for the hell of it. Uh, it came with these cheap, crappy uh, front lights here. Well, I guess you could call them fog lights. They're not really. They don't really illuminate anything. They're very, very dim, and they don't really do anything. They're just for looks, and I do not like them personally, but I haven't gotten around to taking them off. Uh, it does have LED turn signal bulbs, which... Uh, mess up the uh, the turn signals and make them go really quick because the uh, resistance is off. Uh, otherwise, it has a pretty new soft top. It's a little dirty on the inside right now, I apologize, but it's got a pretty new soft top, a little style bar, which I personally would like to get a, uh, a hard dog or a boss frog uh, roll bar just because it's SCCA compliant and stuff like that, and it's actually a roll bar. I have a cheap, I believe, eBay steering wheel and quick release that came with the car which rattles around quite a bit. I do not like that one bit so hopefully I'll be getting a different quick release setup uh, something that's a little bit more stable and more solid. I believe there's a short shifter kit in this car. Uh, it does feel a lot different than a stock Miata shifter does. It feels uh, a little bit quicker and I've got a weighted shift knob on the top there. I recently lost my doubled in touchscreen radio to some rain. I left the top open one night and it rained and rain got into the, the touchscreen and it ruined it completely. So I just took it out and I put a piece of uh, aluminum blocking plate right in there and I just kind of epoxied it in just to leave it there because otherwise it was a gaping hole with a bunch of wires sticking out and I did not like the look of that. I also need a shift boot. I'm going to make one of those pretty soon here. Other than that, the car is pretty much stock. Um, 
It does have an intake and like I said, the exhaust and the coilovers, but otherwise the car is pretty much stock. There's nothing really done to this car. Um, it was just daily driven and uh, it was abused. I've autocrossed it and attempted to drift it a couple of times, but with the open diff and the amount of power that I have, it's, it doesn't work out that very well. So uh, I will hopefully within the next couple of months, maybe year, uh, be getting a turbo kit and doing a full turbo on this thing. And I'm, I'm, I wanna do this proper to this engine. I'm gonna first go over the engine um, I'm going to do a compression test to make sure that I don't have to actually go over the bottom end of the engine. I want to make sure it's healthy. Um, and I'm not going to do, I'm not going for big power goals. I'm just going for something that is fun and reliable to daily and autocross. And my main goal for this is to make around 200 wheel horsepower, maybe, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Um, but all in all, that's the car. I'm not going to show you the engine bay because it is disgusting in there right now. Uh, I have a, uh, uh, an oil pan leak because the owner, the previous owner, before the previous owner, uh, two owners ago, uh, had this car slammed to the ground and cracked the oil pan right in the drain plug threads. So it currently is cracked there and it does drip a little bit of oil, um, but I did a temporary fix on it so that it doesn't like piss out oil. Um, I did a temporary fix with Mazda Gray uh, gasket maker, which is actually fantastic stuff if you ever find it. Um, fantastic, fantastic gasket maker. And um, I basically just coated the shit out of it around the drain plug area. And it has held up pretty great so far for the 2,000 miles that I've had it on there. Um, not really dripping much at all, which is really nice. But I do have a spare oil pan with a fitting on it for a, uh, a an oil feed line for the turbo. Um, but basically, that's the car. Um, nothing really special about it. I love the car though. Uh, I love that it's a convertible. I love that I can have fun with it down here in the Florida Keys. It is, in most people's eyes, a perfect Florida Keys car just because it's always nice around here. It is currently almost December, and I believe that we are looking at uh, close to 80 degree weather, if not 80 degrees right now. And I love it down here. It's absolutely amazing. I was not a, a, not a fan of the cold. But um, there she is, guys. That is my daily driver, 91 Miata. Uh, with the 1.6.